Welcome inside the Citrus TV studio. It's another No Pulp webisode. That's John Dales. I'm Jacob Morris. And right off the bat, John, big news. The NCAA announces that the women's NCAA basketball tournament will now be allowed to use March Madness as branding. Previously, it would just been the men's tournament allowed to use it. I think I speak for both of us here, John. It's about time. I think you speak for pretty much everybody yeah. in saying it's about time. It was a little bit ridiculous for a while that only the men's yeah. tournament could use March Madness. It really didn't get into the mainstream news until last year yeah. when people started realizing March Madness can't be used to refer to the women's tournament. And people would, you know, in conversations, yeah. casual jargon. It's just, oh, yeah, the women's basketball tournament, March Madness. Yeah, and it might seem small, right, wording, but it was one of many injustices highlighted basically during this past NCAA tournament. You see it on the screen. It started with Oregon star Sedona Prince. She takes to TikTok. She posts a video highlighting the differences between the two NCAA tournaments. It wasn't just the March Madness branding issue, John. Yeah, if you saw that TikTok video, the weight room given to yeah. the women's basketball players, that, these are NCAA athletes. They were essentially given a weight room of like a Ramada Inn. Yeah. It's where they were practicing <laughs> before playing in the NCAA yeah. tournament. Yeah, before some of the biggest games in all of college basketball like a Motel 6 out there. So, and again, you talked about it. People refer to this as March Madness in passing really because there have been some fantastic moments in the past couple of years in this tournament. You think back to Arike Agumbawale hitting a buzzer beater to win the national championship. The game before that in the final four hitting a last second shot. It's about time, John. It certainly is. There are a lot of great moments, especially recently, like you mentioned, the Agumbawale one for Notre Dame. Morgan William for uh, Mississippi State ending in a 111 game <laughs> win streak for UConn back in 2017. The Paige Becker show last year this is a lot of fun basketball that's being played. Exactly. So the NCAA announcing March Madness can be used for the women's tournament in addition to the men's. That's all the time we have on no pulp, this No Pulp webisode. That's John Dales. I'm Jacob Morris. Enjoy the show, everybody.